Hey guys, it is Will here for episode two of uh, Will's Mystery Box show. Uh, not quite a mystery box this time. Um, it's actually a Christmas present I got from my wife, uh, amongst many other things, and you'll see it in future episodes when I uh, have a uh, now camera that I can use instead of my phone. Uh, but I, I want to get in one last video of 2019 for New Year, -er, and uh, so I decided, and well, plus I really have been wanting to get into this for a while, and I was holding off until I could uh, video it. So, uh, what we are doing today is the Great British Treats box, a little taste of Britain, and this is uh, on Amazon, goes about $15. Um, spoiler alert, I already opened it because, well, you know, you want to look at it whenever your wife gives you something or your family gives you something. Um, but I haven't really delved too much into it. I haven't eaten any of the chocolate shit. Um, it's actually from Codbury, which is the British version of Hershey. That'd be the best way to describe it. They have some of their candies on sale in America, but you know, you these are ones that really you cannot get in the United States. So it's pretty cool, I think, that Amazon actually allows them to be shipped for such an affordable price. So you open it up. As you see here, you got they gave us about eleven different candies and uh, you know they're all from the Codbury brand. Um, so, you know, first off, we got one called the Curly Whirly. And uh, I'm guessing this is just like a really super thin uh, chocolate. Uh, one I'm really looking forward to, though, is the Double Decker. Look how thick this is, y'all. I mean, it is thick. Um, unfortunately, though, I don't think I'm going to win tickets to the Premier League. I would love to watch Chelsea play though. That's that's been my team growing up for a while. Had no affiliation with them outside of cousin named Chelsea, but um, that's how they became my favorite soccer team. Um, now we got the Dairy Milk Caramel. Once again, offering Premier League tickets. Um, let's see here. Obviously, they didn't think that this was going to come to Georgia. Uh, the Flake. Uh, from the reviews I've seen, this is the one that usually breaks the most on, uh, on uh, traveling and getting delivered, but uh, it's in perfect shape here. we got the Star Bar. Every time I see this, I think of the weekend song, Star Boy. The Chewy Cosmos of Peanuts and Caramel. So I'm guessing this is like their version of Payday, which makes sense. Ooh, oops, dropped it. Do, 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 do. This one is the Crunchy. That one's going to offer me you know, tickets to the Premier League. Golden Honeycomb wrapped in Codberry Milk Chocolate. So I'm guessing this is like a wafer. Like I say, I'm going into these completely blind. Uh, the Codberry Dairy Milk. Um... I think this is the just a traditional Cadbury bar outside of, you know, like the Kinder Buenos and stuff like that. Well, I don't think Kinder is actually Cadbury. I have seen some Cadbury before, though, in America. Shake it up with Picnic. Okay, so this one looks like it's another peanut bar. Can't tell if that chocolate or raisins. Crunchy, chewy, fruity feast covered in Cadbury milk chocolate. So maybe this is like a granola bar, maybe? Uh, you know, tell me in the comments. Um, then again, I'll be eating these in a couple days. That's the main reason why I'm hurrying up and doing this one. Because I've been craving these. All right, we got the Whisper. Uh, okay, so there's a, there is a chocolate I've found in Milledgeville a couple times called uh, the Arrow. And it looks like this is going to be kind of similar to it, which if it is, I mean, this is like, it put it in your mouth and just melts in your mouth like a pillow. I really like arrows. I wish that we could find those more often. So I'm, I'm now really excited about this one. And then the last one they give us, I'm guessing this is like their version of Twix. It's called a twirl. Uh, 
Intense Cadbury milk chocolate hit. That's all they say. They, they don't give you any, any more of a hint than that. I mean, I guess if you look at this, they may have it, but I'm not worried about that. So like I say, you know, it came in a box. Um, clearly it was a little bit, I mean, it was nicer packaged than what I've done here. You know, I've just been putting them in as I can see fit and I'm just hoping for the best. Um, so like I said, I just wanted to do one last video for, uh, for the year. 2020 is going to be here in Georgia in a few hours. Actually over the pond, it's about to be in an hour. So, uh, you know, just wanted to like, do this. Uh, special shout out to my wife. Uh, we'll be back with more Two Dudes Trying Strange Foods episodes in a couple weeks. Probably a week or so. Um, but I just want to go ahead and do this last one. So uh, happy new year.